In this video, I will show you how to create this animation in this video by Polymetal. And here you can see some infographics. So they have these amazing infographics in their videos. And as you can see, we have these icons of different things. And we have this percentage coming in as a counter. And then we have some text. And you will see we also get this line over here. This will appear. So this line over here. And, and you will also see that we get this drop shadow. So I'm going to be recreating this and showing you how to do this in DaVinci Resolve. For this, you need three different icons. So these are the three icons that I have. And you can just go ahead over to any website for free icons. So you can use a site like Freebic. You can go over here and then search for icons. Go ahead and search for building. So you can go ahead and use this website for downloading different icons for this video. And once you have that, you can just import them in DaVinci Resolve. So right now I'm just going to add in this fusion composition. And also one other thing you need is a texture kind of thing. So as you can see in their videos, they have a texture in their background. So this is the one that I'm using. You can just go ahead and use any type of texture. So let's head over to the fusion composition. First of all, let's go ahead and add a background and also a merge one. Connect the background with the merge one and the merge one with the media out. And over here, I'm going to change the background to gradient and the gradient type to radial. And from here, you can just drag in this all the way to the center and you can enable guides to do this more effectively. So let's go ahead and change the color to red. And over here, I'm just going to change this to red but i'm going to decrease the or you can say make it more dark all right and now what you need is you need to add the texture so i'm going to add in this texture connected with the merge and with the texture i'm going to add in this transform and increase the size of this so that it fits in the whole screen and click on merge one and then go over to apply mode and change this to darken and also change the blend mode to a zero point one all right and now we need to add in the icons so the first one let's just move this media out down and now drag in your icon first of all go ahead and add this background connect the media with the background and change the color to yellow and now go ahead and add in this transform node connected connect the background with the transform and the transform when they merge and here you will see we get this. And now what you can do is reduce the size. So let's change this to 0 0.3 and move this right here. Slightly down as well. All right. And now we also need a drop shadow. So let's go ahead and add that. So click on transform and press control space and search for drop shadow. And over here, you can just simply change the shadow strength. Also the drop angle, but I'm going to keep this at 30. Drop distance as well. I'm going to keep this at 0 0.05 and then increase the reduce the blur size to 0 0.4. And here you will see this is how it looks. Now let's go ahead and add in our text. For the text, simply drag in this text from here. Connect it with the merge tool. And go ahead and write in, let's say, 40%. The font that I'm using for this will be Montserrat at bold. So let's move this right here. And I'm going to reduce this to 0 0.05 right here. And you noticed in the video we had this moving, so we had a counter. So I will show you how to do that. But before we do that, let's add in another text for our building and let's just copy this text and right click and click on paste settings and then connect it with the merge three and over here just slightly move this down and change this to buildings and over here i will change this to medium and reduce the site to 0 0.03 all right and now we can also go ahead and add a drop shadow for all both of these so I'll just add in a drop shadow. Right now, I will just copy this. So you can press Control C to copy or right click for copying and then right click on this one and click on Paste Settings. 
Do the same thing for the other one as well. And now for the counter. So in order to get a counter, what you need to do is right click over here and then click on edit controls. And over here, just go ahead and select text from here in the page section. And over here, select input control to slider control. Also click on the integer and change the range from zero to 100. Click OK, and this will appear over here in the bottom. But you will see that this will not work. This will not move. And the reason is we need to connect this to our text over here. So just right click over here and click on expression. And from here, just drag this and connect it with the new control. Also, make sure that you add in a round bracket you add this new control within the round bracket and over here just add two dots and then two strings or you can say quotation marks and then within this you can just add your percentage sign so here you will see that they have the percentage sign as well and now if we will change the new control you will see that this will increase so let's go ahead and animate this but before we do that let's go ahead and add in our other icons as well so this the process will be the same so i'll just show you how to quickly do that what you can do is simply drag in this next one this next uh, icon that we have and let's add in a background the same process that we did before connect this over here add a transform and then also a drop shadow and then connect it to the merge for but before we do that what you can do is right click over here copy this background and then paste this right click and paste settings do the same thing for transform like this and the drop shadow as well and now if you connect this to the merge 4 and select your transform and then slightly move this and here you will see we get our train icon with the same settings that we had for the building so this is how you can quickly do that and for the text just one thing is uh, regarding the text there will be a complication that if you simply just drag in a text and copy this so let's just copy the text one which had the uh, counter so go ahead and copy this or you can just simply press ctrl c for copying and then right here just right click and then paste settings and if you connect this to the merge five here you will see that we don't get anything and that is because we don't have the edit controls done on this node on this particular node so in order to do that you can just right click over here just like we did before and then select edit controls and from here you can just select once again text integer range 0 to 100 slider control okay and now if you move this now you will get that same settings and I'm going to do the same thing for the other text. And of course, there are no expressions over here, so this will be fine. You won't need to do anything extra. And let's connect this right here and move this right here. And we can change the text from here. And right now, I haven't done the counter, but I'm just simply showing you how to quickly add this. So this is the drop shadow. That I'm adding and you can simply copy and paste these settings for this one as well and here you will see we have the drop shadows done as well and I'm just going to quickly do the same thing that I just showed you for the last icon that we have and I'm going to just pause the video and I will get back once it's done all right so here you can see I have all of these done and now for the animation so this is fairly very simple all you need to do is just go over to the first one, which is the this building over here, the merge tool that we have. And let's just zoom in. And over here, what you can do is create a keyframe for blend in. So go over to let's say 10 frames, create a keyframe at blur at blend, and then at zero, change this to zero. And do the same thing for the text one and text two as well. We can go over to the text one in shading, create a keyframe at opacity zero in the beginning, and then at five, let's change this to one. And now for the text two, 
go over to shading, change the opacity to zero. And at 10, let's change this to one. And let's play this. So this is how it appears. And now for the counter. So this is very simple. Let's go over to 20 and select our text one, which is the percentage over here. Head back to the text section and go all the way down and create a keyframe add new control and change this to wherever you want this percentage to be for example i want this to be at 68 at 20 frames and then go all the way to zero and change this to zero as well and if you play this now here you will see we get that counter effect so this is how simple it is to create this counter effect in the minshi resolve and i'm going to do the same thing that i just showed you on these two as well and for these two i'm just simply going to start animating them as soon as this one is has completed animating so basically when this is revealing at 10 what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this this railway for example zero at 10 and then one at 20. so let me just show you let's head over to merge one create a keyframe at blend change this to zero then head over to 20 frames and change this to one and do the same thing for the text one as well but this time at 10 when we go over to shading create a keyframe at opacity i will change this to one the opacity to one at 15 frames but once again for the text four that we have this text railway text that we have just go over to shading change the opacity to zero at 10 frames and then at 20 frames change this to one so i'm going to do the same thing for this one as well and also for the counter as you just saw let's go over to 10 go back to text create a keyframe at new control and then over at 30 change this to let's say 40 45 and if you play this now this is how it will appear. And I'm going to do the same thing for the power supply over here as well. So let me just quickly do that. So here I have all these animations done and you can see they look very good. And now let's add in the line over here and the text at the top. So this will be very easy. Let's go ahead and add this polygon, remove all the line from here. And then let's go ahead and add a background for this and this background i'm going to copy the background from here and paste this over here so that we have the same color and let's connect this with the merge tab all right and now let's go ahead and create the polyline but for this one a better way to do that is if you right click and turn on the guides just go ahead over here right where we have this building and create this line from here. You can just zoom in and make sure that this is straight. Now let's go all the way over here where this is starting and create another point over here and then slightly move this down. All right, and now let's go ahead and change the border width to 0 0.005 and also change the border style to flat and now we can just move this right here like this and from this line you can also see that whether this is matching or not so you can use this as the guide for making sure that these are aligned and one last thing go ahead and add a drop shadow for this and once again we're going to copy the settings paste them over here all right and finally the text that we have on top just simply drag in the text connect this and let's just write in both this right here Montserrat is the font that i'm using let's pull this slightly over here and let's add in a rectangle and connect connect it to the text so this will act as the mask of the text and let's just move this right here and for the text, 
as we are animating this. So once this is animated, these icons have been animated. What we can do is go over to 40, let's say, then go over to the polygon one and over here, just go ahead and create, or let's go over to, let's say 60, where we want this to end. Create a keyframe at position and length, and then go back to 40. Change this position to 0 0.5 and change the length to zero. So if you play this now, this is how it will appear. And you can head over to spline, click on polyline, and then select your keyframes and press S. Click on the text and create a keyframe to on, let's say, 70. Head over to layout and create a keyframe at center. And then let's go over to 50 and change this right here. And if you play this, this is how it will look. But let's go over to the rectangle and change the soft edge to, let's say, 0 0.7. And let's see how this looks. So this is how it will appear. But you can see that this is visible, even though we want to hide this over here. What you can do is change the rectangle all the way here. So let's play this. And of course, you can decrease the size on the soft edge, basically. So this looks fine. And of course, you can ease this in as well. But for the final thing, for the main thing, which is the 3D animation, what you can do is go over to this merge one and then add in this image plane 3D and connect all your stuff to the image plane 3D and also add in a render. So I'll just search for render 3D and now connect this to the media out. So you can see that this is not matching our screen, but what you can do is go over to image plane in the transforms, change the Z axis and just increase until this covers the whole screen. So this looks perfect. And over here, let's create a keyframe all the way to the end where we have the rotation as well. And let's also change this slightly. And let's go over to zero. And over here, let's also create keyframes. So let's create a keyframe at X. Change this to somewhere around here. So minus 13 and 15. So let's see how this looks. But here you can see that we have this hidden and we don't want that. So let's just change the Z axis to, let's say one point four five or 1.5. And let's go back to zero. and change these so okay this looks okay but we are not getting that rotation so you can just go over to the end see if this works at minus 26 and minus 2 so let's see how this looks all right so let me just play this now and here you can see we are getting that 3D animation also. So this was it for this video. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.